Here's our backyard. We got on three sides, we got a beautiful view, nothing but trees. And inside the shed there, we got a 40 horsepower screw compressor. Here's our destructive testing machine. We do a, a tremendous amount of destructive testing, in the, particularly in the second and third quarters of the curriculum. Uh, we can do side bin tests over here, we do tinsel fold tests over here, and we do tons of fill weld brake tests, especially for first and second quarter students. You want to show the blue front? Okay. Here's our blueprint cabinet, and in the fabrication course, there are quite a few projects the guys have to build, and uh, they are given a blueprint to work off to do so. And uh, a lot of this stuff, like the ones I'm showing right now, the tolerances are 32nd of an inch. It has a couple of brake bins on this particular project on 3 8 plate. There's some welding symbols on the prints. Here's a blueprint for that stool that we are looking at outside. And we got tons of them up here. We have a blueprint reading class that is part of the curriculum that we do once a year. And um, what the guys do on, in that course is get, primarily what they do is they're given they're given blueprints and then they uh, have specific um, component parts of a blueprint that they have to lay out full size on paper and then turn in. And then we have AutoCAD printouts of the, of the parts to, to full size and the pattern that they generate has to fit on the, uh, on the AutoCAD pattern. Well, anything we missed other than the classroom? I don't think so. Okay. Well, let's take a look at your project. Yeah, this is mine. Want me to put the camera on you? If you want. Okay. I'll get my old one too about how it failed. Okay. How do, is it running? Yeah, it's okay. This is Chris Smith, and he's in the fourth, uh, in fifth quarter fabrication class. And this is one of the fabrication items built from the blueprint that's required. And uh, it's that's 3 8 plate, has some brake bins, has some uh, has some tap holes in it. Let's see the uh, let's let me see if I'm a little farther away. Tilt it towards me. There you go. It's an asymmetric uh, hole layout, different size holes, some are tapped, some are not. Five of those holes are tapped. And uh, that one uh, didn't quite fit. How far off was it? 16. The hole was low, 16. Okay. But that, that one hole on the side was a 16th of an inch low. So uh, he's doing it again. And uh, let's take a look at the one he's working on now. He's got a nice scribed layout there. And he's pilot drilling all the holes. And after those holes are bored and the corners are cut off of this, about four corners, then it's going to go into the press break and he'll bend it and then uh, uh, punch a pretty good sized hole in the center of it, square hole and run some square tubing through it. I think that's it. Okay. 